Okay, so uh, you guys know that my favorite pencil sharpener over here is this Exacto, but you can always see that I have this kind of odd setup where I have a C clamp that's clamping a piece of flooring <laughs> um, to the table because that's the only way that the suction will mount the um, the pencil sharpener so that it's not mobile. And in a lot of situations, like my art museum class at the Contemporary Austin, I can't set this up anywhere because they don't have, um, they have wooden desks, <clears throat> which are all lumpy and the wood is porous, so it doesn't clamp down onto anything. And I can't get it to stay stationary when I'm trying to um, sharpen it. So I've long been on the lookout for a handheld sharpener that would perform just as well as my Exacto. And one of you guys uh, wrote to me and said that they really liked my method for using the sharpener and that they hadn't um, used the sharpener before and they love it. This is Tony from New Hampshire, so hey, Tony. Um, and he suggested that I try this handheld sharpener. This is called the KUM Long Point, and it's actually a two-part process. So let's take a look at the hand cam. This one is a 6B that was sharpened with my Exacto, and you can see just how sharp of a point that is. I mean, it's like, how can you get any sharper than that, which is why I love that pencil so much. So here's a 5B, it's pretty dull. For me, I would not be drawing with a pencil this dull. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to use the automatic long point sharpener. So you can see right here, I don't know if you can see it actually, but there's a little number one on this slot and a number two on this slot. So basically the first step of the process is going to be sharpening by shaving off. You can see the wooden barrel is being shaved off. So you're gonna do that for step one. And once that's come out, and is completed. And you'll see like after it's completed, see how it's like I'm twisting it and nothing is shaving off. You can't hear the shaving happening. So now I know it's completed and check this out. It's like totally twisted the lead and it's made it into um, like a really strange spiral. And then you're going to use step two to sharpen and form the lead. There we go. And let's compare now the lengths. So first of all, it's not sharpened quite as long as the Exacto, the vacuum mount Exacto. However, the point actually seems to be a narrower point with the long point sharpener. And the other reason that Tony pointed this out to me is because in one of my previous videos, I mentioned that in these little handheld sharpeners, they always have a screw that's holding the blade on so that you would it would imply that you could change the blade. And I've never seen replacement blades for any of these handheld sharpeners. And Tony, thank you so much. You pointed that this one does have that ability. It even comes with two little replacement blades in there. And so I can go ahead and open it up. I can't do it right now because I've got all the shavings in there, but I could change out the blades <clears throat> in order to get a nice fine point again once this blade gets dull, which is really awesome because oftentimes they get dull after just a few sharpenings. The other thing that's interesting about this one is that the long point comes in a couple of different formats. Um, this one also has, I don't know if you can see right here, a little lead point sharpener. So if you're using a mechanical pencil, it's got two different blades in there. And I think it's a two point process for the lead sharpener as well. I don't generally use mechanical pencils. I find they're almost too fine of a point for me to use. And I like the more natural feeling of the wooden pencil. So I don't have any of those at my studio, but if you were to be using a mechanical pencil, then that would be a great way for you to sharpen it too and take this on the go. So. Thank you guys so much for your suggestions because I'm always learning about different materials from you all, and from students in my classroom, and it's always exciting when I discover a new tool that is useful that I'm gonna add to my kit. 
So hope that helps you guys out. And now you have a nice long point sharpener that is good for your travels and when you're on the go. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, LZM Studio, where I frequently release quick tips and all kinds of different ideas about drawing. Also check out my Facebook and my Instagram page. I like to show um, photographs of my artwork, of my students' artwork, and share funny stories from my students on those pages. And then check out my website, lzmstudio.com, where you're going to find more inspiration and um, full-length, detailed tutorials.